On January 10th, 2020, which was almost one week ago, we had an interesting playoff matchup. It was the Pittsburgh Steelers who were playing against the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers are one of the greatest starts to a regular season that we have, have not seen in a long time. They started off the year 11-0. They had one of the most incredible starts to a season and towards the end of the season. But then week 13 came and they lost to the Washington football team, then lost to the Buffalo Bills, then the Cincinnati Bengals, two weeks later they lost to the Cleveland Browns. Now I know the Steelers did mess up towards the, end, the very end of the season, but there was still a great chance of them beating the Cleveland Browns in the wildcard game, right? Well, no. They gave up 48 points and lost 48-37. to And in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinion, this was probably one of the biggest upsets we have seen in a long time. How is everybody doing today? It's Sports Huddle back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about some of the biggest upsets in NFL history. Let's not waste any time. And let's get straight into it. Let me first tell you how this is going to work. We will basically be taking a look at some NFL teams who looked like they were destined to be great, but weren't. Starting off in 1934, when the New York Giants beat the Chicago Bears. Now that season in 1934, there were only 13 games during the regular season. The Giants were first in their division and went 8-5, and five, so they weren't bad at all. But they were going up against the Chicago Bears, who went 13-0. and 0. They were by far the best team in the NFL. And the Bears were going up against a team that just barely had a winning percentage over 500. But it looked like the Bears were the better team here, right? Well, no. No, it, they weren't. Not only did the Bears lose to the Giants in the championship game, but they got blown out. They lost to the Giants 30-13. It's crazy how a team that went 13-0 during the regular season lost to a team that only won 8 games during the season. And just to throw a fun little fact, the Giants won that game in 30 degree weather. So it's safe to say that 1930, the 1934 championship game was a huge upset for the Chicago Bears. Let's go 30 years into the future now, 1964 when the Cleveland Browns absolutely upset the Baltimore Colts. Now that season, the Colts played very well as they won 12-2. Cleveland went 10-3-1 and, and lost two of the last four games in the season. At one point during the season, the Colts were on an 11-game winning streak. The only weeks that they lost was Week 1 and Week 13. In the championship game, though, they got blown out. They played so poorly that they didn't even score. The Browns crushed them 27-0. They had a good fight in the first half as it was 0-0 in the first half, but in the second half, they messed up completely. They gave up 17 points in the third quarter and then gave up 10th in the fourth. So it's safe to say that the now known Indianapolis Colts were a huge upset in the 1964 championship game. Next up is the 1979 divisional round, which was the Houston Oilers who were playing the San Diego Chargers. And this game was looking real tough for the Oilers. The reason I say that is because in the spam of one week, the Oilers quarterback, running back, and their best wide receiver were all injured. And they were playing against the San Diego Chargers, who went 12-4 and during the regular season. But somehow, some way, the Oilers left that game taking the W. They won 17-14. And if there was one guy I would crown player of the game, it has to be Vernon Perry, who was a safety. He caught four interceptions and blocked a field goal. The Chargers were stunned after that because they just lost to a Houston Oilers team that didn't even have some of their main players. This is a huge upset if you ask me, and I would be completely embarrassed if I was on the Oilers team. Next up is the 1983 Divisional Round, which was the Seattle Seahawks who played against the Miami Dolphins. Now the Dolphins starting QB was an upcoming Hall of Famer in the league who had a great rookie season. His name is Dan Marino. Now I know this is his rookie season, but this is Dan Marino we're talking about. A man who's had so much history in the NFL and who has made so much history. He will probably go down as the best Dolphins QB of all time. But the Dolphins ended up losing that game to the Seahawks. Unfortunately, their rookie star was not enough to get the win. The Seahawks won that game 27-20. If you're asking me, this was an upset for the Dolphins. But I think if this was like two years or three years in Dan Marino's career, maybe they would have gone past that game winning. Who knows? Finishing off this video with the 1996 Divisional Round, where the Jacksonville Jaguars played against the Denver Nuggets and beat them. This was a huge upset. The reason I say that is one, 
This was only the Jaguars second year in existence. Two, they went eight and five during the regular season and just got past the Buffalo Bills in the wild card. And three, they beat John Elway and the 13 and three Denver Broncos. It's unreal to me how the Jaguars only existed for two years, just got past the team in the wild card, and beat John Elway, probably the best quarterback in Broncos history, unless you're counting Peyton Manning, who was in his prime back then and was one of the greatest quarterbacks in his time. This has to be one of the biggest upsets in NFL history, and I am sure that John Elway would like to forget this particular moment in his career. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if I should do a part two on this. This was definitely a fun video, and I would love to make a part two on it. Also, guys, please make sure to subscribe. I'm on the road to 500 subscribers. We're under 20 subscribers away, so please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time. I'm out.